Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Defender Machine and today I've got you a super awesome video in terms of tips and tricks on Advanced Warfare. This kind of ties in everything. I know the thumbnail says times 16 XP as well as the title does, but in this video we're going to be covering everything that you need to actually do to get that and a lot of things also need to go your way. And I just wanted to say that first and foremost guys because a lot of people would be saying, oh it's not guaranteed that you get the times 16 XP. But in this tips and tricks video it basically ties in everything that you need to do to do not only good, but the very best you possibly can do amongst all the players in your lobby in every department so what I mean by that is obviously low amount of deaths high amount of kills the most score everything like that longest streak everything just kind of ties in and that will make you honestly rank up really fast with this 16 times XP bonus if you get lucky and good enough to be able to pull this off and before we start anything out guys I just want to say that the background gameplay ties in with what I'm going to be mentioning today because this map and this DNA bomb on this particular game mode is very important to what I'm going to be telling you guys today in order to be able to get all these bonuses within each individual game every time or as easy as you possibly can and this map honestly it's probably one of the best for doing it and I'll get into that in a minute but first of all I just want to say that the game mode is the most important thing out of completely everything to do with this strategy because it makes the difference between getting eight times XP and then if you play this game mode capture the flag you can maximize if you get lucky and you're good on the game to get that 16 times XP bonus the main reason I say capture the flag is one of the most important parts of this strategy is because of the fact it makes the difference between the times 16 XP that is possible to obtain and the times 8 XP that you could only get in other game modes so the reason capture the flag first of all can get you that times 16 XP bonus is because it's the only game mode when you play the objective actually no let me rephrase that play a high role in the objective and get kills at the same time being the flag carrier for the enemy team's flag to get back to your base every kill is a times 2 XP kill so you get double XP for every kill with a flag and that is the start of the XP multiplier so the next one or the next two I should say are kind of to do with luck you have to rely on what sledgehammer games gives you in terms of opportunities to actually be able to get these XP multipliers and the first one is get double XP out of a supply drop so if you get double XP out of a supply drop and then you get the flag and get a kill that is a times 4 XP kill so the next one after that you have to get lucky again from Sledgehammer Games which never really happens for me and all of this needs to happen on a set double XP weekend built into the game besides the double XP out of supply drops despite playing capture the flag or despite the final role that I'm going to play in this strategy and tell you guys about getting the times 16 XP so Sledgehammer Games actually have to make a double XP weekend in order for you to be able to get that 16 times XP bonus for certain for definite it won't happen otherwise but otherwise if they don't make it a double XP weekend all you need is a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill and you will still be able to get that times 8 XP bonus which is really good especially for a respawn game mode right because if you think about search and destroy you get a ton of XP per kill but you die and then you don't respawn for the rest of the round and that might play not your way and you might get a ton of deaths instead of a ton of kills but in this case you get multiple opportunities in multiple different lives so you can switch up your play style to how you think you should have handled a certain situation before when you died and you can just generally correct the mistakes that you would make on a non-respawn game mode without actually regretting the situations that you actually do take beforehand so you can actually respawn you can get back in the game and everything is not over in terms of you losing out on XP opportunities or anything to do with XP multipliers because you can go back get the flag and then you can just go on your mass rampage once again so now if we left that right there and said hey this is enough XP multipliers player to be going around and getting enough people up enough ranks we would be at times 8 XP and I know a lot of people actually make videos upon how to rank up fast in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and only get up to the times 8 multiplier XP point and I haven't seen anyone make a video on the times 16 multiplier XP point and there is potential for times 32 and even times 64 XP but if you've got a triple DNA bomb that would actually be times 64 XP so if you can imagine if you divide that by 3 or if you take away the amount of DNA bombs or whatever you want to do maths wise you can calculate that the next XP multiplier is actually getting a DNA bomb. I don't know if you guys notice or get DNA bombs frequently, but I certainly do and I'm not boasting about that. It's just after every game I've realized by now that I get a shit ton of XP even if I have no other multipliers going for me when I get a DNA bomb and every kill after the DNA bomb goes off, say if I go on a mass gun streak, say if I go on a massive kill streak even, or just generally get loads of XP after the DNA bomb goes off, apparently it is times 2 XP for your entire team, if not everybody in the entire game. And the final comment I want to make about this particular strategy and the way I'm working it within this game mode, I'm on a map which allows me to exploit the movement system as much as I possibly can. So if you strip this map down to solely the skin of the map, 
and no actual textures on the map. It would literally look like a child who's just got bored of playing blocks or Legos because it literally is just a massive pileup of cuboid shapes and cuboids moving around the map and that is really good for disabling the exosuits on and getting up to them high advantage points and that is basically today's video guys so hopefully you all enjoyed. Slap a like on the video if this helped you or you enjoyed and a favourite if you loved it and I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow or the next day and peace out.